it's amazing. Uh, I've, I've, I've loved, uh, you know, leading uh, this amazing bunch of cricketers over the years. It's just not this bunch of players. There are other players before as well. It's just the players have put in a lot of hard work. The coaches, uh, I think Nepal cricket is where it is today. It's, it comes down to the hard work of the players and the coaches. So I just hope now if, for us to move forward. I mean, getting ODI status is one thing, but it's very important we stabilize this base and make it stronger and come in the next three to four years if we can put up a structure in place back home i'm sure we will prosper in the coming year From the time that we started the match with the team, we knew that we had to win that game and for us it was very important that we started early. We won the toss them and put them in, following with the dash trick and then we chased it down. But still, like we, just, we still had to wait for the Netherlands versus Hong Kong game, so we went back to the hotel and just refreshing the score. So that's how the day went and when the 10th wicket fell down and we became an ODI country for the very first time in our cricket history. So this is something that all of us should always look forward to. It was our dream to become an ODI nation. And come 2018, uh, that dream is now turned into a reality. Paris Padka up on his toes and off the mark, first ball. Just like that, it's a, it's a drive in fact. But that will find the fence beautifully done through the offside. When they play shots, they look good. Pulled away and not timed at all. Just the single. By the elements. It's a single and that's more like it. Rotate the strike, keep the singles coming. Because he doesn't seem to have a lot of pace. Gamely looking shot there from Paris Kadka. It's the single. Whipped away on the onside. Oh, that'll go for four. Beautifully timed by Paris Kadka. That's nice. Third man up in the circle. And a misfield. And there's another boundary for Kadka. That was beautifully placed because he had the field in mind. Edge the game. And you will say now back on the boundary, so just a single. Come back for the second. That surprise uh, the Bangladeshi fielder now. Mustafa Rahim is reprimanding one of his fielders. Good looking shot, very good shot, will pick up a boundary, lovely use of the feed and then uh, credits uh, the gap on the offside. Once again a cracking shot, we saw him doing that against the Seema and now he does the same but that's against the spinner. He's gone straight, hasn't quite timed it, so maybe just the single, they take a chance with the second, just a bit too wide. Our domestic structure has to improve for sure. Uh, we need to organize the matches within the country and build up our infrastructure as well. The, the most important thing would be to first uh, get the board out to see if the functioning. We are still under suspension, so, so come July, I hope the suspension is lifted and then we can you know, have a proper board for us, to, for cricket to be run. So we need proper administrators now. Uh, we have all the resources, it's just about managing these resources. Caught by the captain, Paris Kadka's got it, 
And that's the first wicket, and what a big wicket it is too. Everyone's, everyone's very, very happy. We've had a lot of support over the years, and we are glad that we have been able to achieve this feat and bring smiles in the faces of all the people back home. So it's been really good, and just want to keep reading. Aras Kadka, the captain for Nepal. We saw him on the sidelines a short while ago. He's out into the heat of the action now. That's a very good record, isn't it? And that 68 actually came against Hong Kong. It's his best score, and it's actually the best score for Nepal in this form of the game. Look at the strike rate, though. Tossed up again. Paris Kadka takes the invitation, goes over the onside. What a lovely way to get off the mark. With the compensation by Irfan Ahmed. Outside the off stump. There's his brother out there, a deep cover, leading the fielding. A couple of runs. Very good running that. Really good running. What a wonderful shot. Harris Kadka. And again, really good running. Clubbed with lots of bottom hand. Over mid wicket once more. And it's gone for four. Clubbing shot down the ground by Kadka, and it'll go for four. If you can strike them well, you can strike them big also. That's only a couple of runs to the striker. And big heave! Who's going to get it? And it's safe, yeah, got a hand on it. Couldn't be taken. But oh, Austin is a bigger pill straight away, there's the finger! First ball of the innings, and the captain strikes. He is having a wonderful night here in Chittagong. The brand new innings, have a look at this one. Round the wicket, it was a straighter delivery. It's a bit of a bounce, and keep netting it on second attempt. What a great start. It's fabulous. So this is the second edition of the qualifiers that we have participated in. The last time was in New Zealand. We didn't do that well then, but it was our first time. So now, over the last three to four, five years, we've realized what to do for us to sustain at this level. And hopefully, if we can improve our game further, it will only mean good things for Nepal cricket in the coming days. It's a learning phase. We want to, you know, one day, hopefully, become a test playing country. I've said this before as well. The journey will probably take another eight to ten years, but uh, now that we've become an ODI nation, our next goal should be to get.